There are really no duds here. Each of the eight utes on test is certainly capable and clearly very comparable, but as each is designed to be a vehicle adept at a wide range of skills, our test revealed a clear all-rounder. The Holden Colorado performed well against the stopwatch, but was compromised on gravel roads when towing and off-road. The model also featured less technology than some rivals and the lowest payload rating on test. For Isuzu, the D-Max is beginning to show its age. Despite feeling stronger under the bonnet than its figures might suggest, the D-Max scraped its way around our full drive course and provided a mismatch of technology items that felt low rent against some of its same price siblings. Recently revised, the Mazda BT-50 offered the best payload on test and felt rock solid when towing. It was a little compromised off-road and suffered from a poorly calibrated anti-lock braking system, but impressed with a strong engine, especially when loaded to the nines. Mitsubishi's new Triton sat middle of the road for payload and towing, but impressed with a cohesive cabin and technology set. The model's four-wheel drive system also impressed our judges, though on a mix of sealed and unsealed roads showed a mix of qualities bound to favour niche buyers. The Nissan Navara combines twin-turbo power with a seven-speed auto and car-like rear suspension. However, the model was noisy off-road and suffered from a tendency to scrape its belly on tough off-road course. With good technology and a clever tie-down system, the Navara still has a lot to offer, though buyers chasing a heavy-duty ute may wish to look elsewhere. As the best seller of its segment, the Toyota Hilux had big shoes to fill. Fortunately, its SUV-like cabin and feel behind the wheel did a lot to impress our judges, as did an impressive display off-road. Sadly, the Hilux was rather slow against the clock and quite thirsty at the pump. One of two utes unchanged since our last test and a prior winner, the Volkswagen Amarok impressed with its car-like drivability. A refined cabin and strong tech levels also helped the Amarok's cause, as did a large tray bed. A shame then, the Amarok's off-road abilities were bettered by many in this company. While each of the utes on test had various strengths and weaknesses, it was the Ford Ranger that we felt was best suited to the myriad tasks a dual cab utility is expected to master. In every situation, and at the hands of any driver, the Ranger presented as a thoroughly capable and modern vehicle with the rugged underpinnings required for an off-road load hauler. A strong engine and decent technology set also helped the Ranger to win, the model's asking price the only real sticking point in an otherwise balanced offering.